Okay, so this is the uh, 7-Eleven con job story. <laughs> uh, sometime later at that same store, I'm working the day shift, and it's very busy. They got games in the back, kids running in and out. And, and uh, I noticed this guy back behind me you know, making a spectacle of himself opening and closing refrigerator doors and talking to himself and distracting me and stuff. And I just go on about what I'm doing and he eventually shows up at the counter with this great big ring hanging halfway off his finger and some other little odds and ends. And right when he shows up, the phone rings. And there's some guy on the phone saying, hey, uh, I was in your store about an hour ago, and I, I think I lost my deceased brother's memorial ring from the military. I think it was Vietnam or something. And he says, uh, you know, if you can go back there and take a look for me and find that ring, I was back by the refrigerators over there. And if you can find it, I got 200 bucks. I'll drive in there and give it to you as a reward. I says, that won't be necessary. There's a gentleman standing right here with the very ring you've described hanging off his finger, and I hand the phone to the uh, guy with the ring and go on about what I'm doing, ringing people up. Pretty soon I hear the guy saying uh, that he can't wait for an hour for this guy to drive back here because he's got to catch a plane in 20 minutes. So he hands me the phone back, and the guy on the phone says, Hey, uh, that guy's got to take off, so he can't wait for me to get there, but I'll, I'm bringing him $200 to pick up that ring. And what you can do is take 100 bucks out of the till and hand it to him to cover his half so he can go. And then when I get there, I'll give you the 200 bucks, and you can put one back in the till and keep the other. And, of course, I grabbed that guy's hand, and he, he already seen the look on my face when I heard that BS coming out of the phone. And he, he was already moving. I, I didn't have a chance of grabbing him, but... <laughs> I'm dialing 911 before he even got out the door, and... I'd seen him book it across the street to this car wash thing over there, and they did not move. The car he got in sat there for some reasons, and the police pulled up and picked all their dumb asses up, whoever that was sitting in there, and they didn't, the guy told me they didn't get the guy on the phone last I heard, but it wasn't going to be long with that kind of a scam gone. But just thought I'd share that with you. But that's all the time we've got for today, boys and girls. Goodbye and good luck. <laughs>